The city of Wuhan remains the epicenter of the coronavirus crisis as health officials around the world struggle to fight it. The city has been shut down and under quarantine for more than three weeks. That means 11 million people are now feeling the strain when it comes to finding necessary supplies. David Culver spoke to some of them and asked how they're coping. Within the epicenter of the deadly coronavirus, an eerie silence. The streets of Wuhan, China, a city 11 million people call home, mostly empty. But even in self-quarantine, locals like Wu Chen keep moving. I live in the Jingyinghu area of Wuhan. The start of day 21, when we chatted with Wu. He's only left his place three times. I don't really have any real difficulties in daily life right now, except that I'm extremely bored at being confined at home. Most of his time spent in his apartment with Baoza, his cat. I stopped going out from about January 13th because I feel the epidemic is quite serious and it is relatively safer to stay home. From cooking to practicing good hygiene, the 26-year-old graphic designer records videos to keep entertained. Baoza makes several appearances. Having friends over isn't really an option. Every residential compound has got the order, not allowing any outsiders from coming in. But Wu wishes the rest of the country was a bit more understanding. The epidemic is in no one's control. I know maybe the people of China are biased about Wuhan people. Plus the government didn't resolve problems in time. Although it was a small number of people who flew out of Wuhan and spread the epidemic, all the Wuhan citizens are now carrying the blame. I don't think that's sensible. My local convenience store, as you guys can see, it's starting to get pretty cleared out here. So I'm going to grab some food while I got the chance. American teacher Justin Steese gives us a feel from an expat's perspective. He is awaiting the proper paperwork to evacuate his wife, who is Chinese, and their one-month-old baby. He and many others here becoming at-home health safety experts. Next thing we want to do is we want to take eye protection. Well, I don't have a pair of medical safety goggles. I do have my handy-dandy eye shades here, which I really like these. Back inside Wu's home, a daily temperature check, followed by a game of hide-and-go-seek with Baozi. I believe the epidemic will pass, and for us ordinary people, all we can do is take good care of ourselves.